All right, so I um, this is a uh, all I got eighty one comics for seventy bucks. They were a dollar each, uh, so nothing in this haul is over a dollar. Um, all these comics were comics that I picked up at a local show this past Sunday. Um, so yeah, this, these were all at one booth from one dealer. Uh, Batgirl Year One. This is one of the first comics I found. Uh, uh, issue Two, Marcos Martin. I love it. You know, you got Killer Moth, uh, Batgirl, so subtle, uh, smiling, uh, like a turquoise teal back background. It's just a very simple cover, and it's really high grade. Um, but yeah, this was one of the first dollar books I picked up, but a really beautiful cover I never owned. Um, New Avengers 1 Virgin Variant. Uh, I picked up two of them. Uh, these were, again, dollar each, uh, but it worked out worked out to a little less than that. Um, yeah, uh, first appearance of Ronin, uh, New Avengers 1 Virgin Variant. A uh, really great comic staff for a buck. Uh, really great. Uh, this was uh, Legion of Superheroes number one, second print, Jin Lee Variant. Uh, this is like, what, a $20 comic, uh, second print, uh, also high grade, um, yeah, but happy to find that for a buck. Uh, new X-Men number one, uh, sorry, uh, new X-Men 129, uh, first appearance of Phantom X, well, first, uh, full cover appearance of Phantom X. This is a pleasant surprise, uh, Spawn 1, or sorry, Spawn 50, uh, I always find this really not in high grade, but for a buck, I mean, an excellent pickup for me, I guess, uh. Punisher uh, Max number one. Uh, this this might be the very first. Well, my I, I don't know if this is the very first uh, Punisher Max story ever, but uh, again a really uh, again a really great cop a comic that I I'd buy for a buck. Uh, Punisher Max. Then uh, this is uh, this was actually in the front of a, a long box. This was the first book, uh, and it had no bagger board, but a Flashpoint five. Uh, really really dig this cover. Uh, Andy Kubert. Uh, Reverse Flash, uh, he's got so many names, uh, Professor Zoom, uh, Eobarthon, uh, but really great uh, story, uh, really great, again, you gotta read the, uh, sorry, you gotta watch the animated cartoon, it's really good, uh, Flashpoint, the cartoon, it's, it's it's better than the Red Hood, it's just a really great cartoon, um, really happy to find this, uh, Birds of Prey 121, uh, one, of the, one of the later issues of that uh, run, uh, but it's got a great cover, um, uh, great Joker cover. Uh, j just really love it. I mean, everything about it. I, I just love the dark. Uh, the Joker crying, smiling, uh, laughing, the, the the big smile, the teeth. Uh, j just love everything about it. And the classic uh, purple suit. Really, I, I really love this one. This is a Ghost Rider. It's a poster book that came from a Marvel Legends toy, Marvel Legends figurine. Um, yeah, but I love the border frame on this. Uh, yeah, Ghost Rider, it's, uh, you know, probably worth like five bucks, as it says, but, um, j just love it, really. It's, um, uh, it's just a poster book, and just show off, um, you can see just, uh, different, you know, artists over the years, but, um, Joe Jusco, Texiera, um, you know, just, uh, just a poster book, really, nothing... Nothing crazy, but um, I don't know. Really happy to find that. Uh, found two copies of Spider Girl Zero. Um, for a, yeah, these were again. Just, these are all one booth. Uh, Spider Girl Five. Uh, first appearance of Spider Venom. Yeah, and I, I think there there's a new uh, a new symbi a new host a new symbiote host today that appears in uh, Venom Inc Alpha number one but anywho Spider Girl uh, two copies and these are near mint copies these are these could be nine eights I mean these are beautiful these are really beautiful these are really sharp really sharp really sharp yeah but near mint copies uh Spider Girl number five and it's tough for a really black cover I mean uh, you just don't find these every day. But, again, for a buck, worth the investment for me. Uh, Iron Man 170. Uh, this is like my seventh copy. Again, another uh, first Prince of Ghost, uh, Iron Man 219. Uh, maybe a $15 comic. Uh, he's going to be in the Ant-Man and Wasp movie, uh, Iron Man uh, 219. Uh, a pleasant book to buy for a buck. Uh, I already have it, but as I do most of those. But uh, 
what if uh, number four uh, what if the alien costume had possessed uh, spider-man this is from the second volume I think and uh, this was uh, I was surprised that I thought this was only I thought this was only worth twenty bucks, but it's like a thirty thirty five dollar comic, pretty uh, pretty on the pricier side, uh, pricier end. Uh, uh, Swamp uh, Swampning uh, twenty five uh, first uh, cameo appearance of John Constantine. Um, you know when I saw it, I, I, I immediately knew just because of the cover that was a good pickup. You know it was a uh, Swamp Thing uh, from the eighties, Alan Moore. So great cover, new stand, great shape. I'd pick it up, but that it's a you know first John Constantine is a bonus I mean it's a great cover as it is but for it being a Constantine I mean you know that's uh you know it adds a lot of value like maybe 30 35 bucks I've seen you know copies sell like 60 65 but um yeah really good shape uh, could use a press uh, presents really well but uh you know happy to find this just based on the cover alone and uh, that it's a cameo is a bonus but um I, I saw in the back it said John, but I don't know I don't know exactly which panel uh, Constantine makes a cameo in. Uh, you know, if someone knows, uh, let me know. Um, I, I see the name here. It says uh, John. Right there it says John. I don't know, but I don't know where he appears in this comic, John Constantine. But on eBay, these sell for, you know, decent money because... Uh, of his cameo, but I don't know where that cameo is at. Uh, then I hear, speaking of Constantine, uh, uh, the second uh, appearance of Constantine, uh, I found this uh, Swamp Thing uh, 38. Uh, uh, you know, what are you going to do? I, I, I just buy these anytime I see them. Never owned this. Uh, Electra, the uh, nude, uh, Electra 3, number the nude, um, well, yeah, I'll show it off. Electra 3, uh, the nude uh, copy, the nude recall, the variant edition, uh, Greg Horn. Where are you at? It's one of these, it's right here. Yeah, see this is the, if it had a strap right there, a black, then it would be the recalled version, but this is the, uh, the re this is the recalled, uh, the first print, the nude, the nude copy, but um, yeah, happy to have this. this is great looking uh, Electra Greg Horn cover. I remember when this came out, but uh, happy to find it for a buck, um, or less than a buck. But uh, Electra number three, the nude. I think it's like a maybe a thirty-five dollar comic. Uh, Pun uh, Punisher one hundred one, uh, one hundred four. I found uh, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, but uh, I had to cut down my costs on the stack. They were piling up. And funny enough, um, I found this. I never owned this before. I'm really happy to own it. Uh, I love the cover, Coyote Number Eleven, the first Todd McFarlane art. Uh, it's really high grade, really, really high grade. Could be near mint. It's. Uh, I think I seen this sell for like thirty five, forty bucks in this shape. But um, funny enough, this was. Uh, so I had. So I had found all those books, and then this. I was looking at a new box in a different direction. I was looking at a long box. And this was the first comic in that long box. But there was already, uh, like, Longshanks was already looking at this box. So I'm thinking, maybe I should not look at this box. But I'm thinking, since this, since this is the first box in a new row, I'll take a look at this box. And this was, and he was looking at that box, looking at comics in that box. And this was the first comic in that box. This was the comic in the end, or in the front of that box. And he, he for whatever reason he didn't pick it up or he didn't see it but happy to have this because I never owned it and um you know this is not uh McFarlane right here on the cover but in the back um well, let me see that I like that but um yeah he's in the second half um right here this is McFarlane you see TM you know, that's McFarlane. You got McFarlane there. Yeah, that's that's McFarlane right there. That's McFarlane. Right there. All that. The way he draws. Yeah, you've seen that. Um, but yeah, really, really, really sharp shape. I mean, yeah, this could be a 9 or a 9.6. I mean, this is just really sharp. 
Yeah, let me just go take some time. I mean, really sharp, really glossy. There's really little to no... There's like one spine stress. But, yeah, it's clean as hell. Very clean, beautiful, near mint copy. I mean, there's just... But that's... Oh, that's at the bottom of the staple, but... You know, it's a beautiful, clean, glossy, sharp uh, copy. Uh, definitely will go in uh, Mylar, and we'll definitely keep this comic. Uh, beautiful, beautiful copy. Uh, Coyote number 11. This might be the best book I've found, and I love the colors. I love the I love this cover. Just beautiful copy to have, and the find for a buck. Found uh, X-Men uh, 248 in this little Mylar thing. Uh, I already have a lot of copies of these, but I mean, this is sharp as hell. I mean, for a buck. First Jim Lee artwork on X Men, I mean. Super sharp. Super sharp. Beautiful. Well centered, just beautiful as hell. Really sharp. I mean, gradable CGC copy. I mean, dark, vivid colors. I mean, really glossy. Just really beautiful copy. Um, yeah, just. Love this cover. I mean, I love the the gradient from the hot pink to the 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 the, the lesser hue of pink, and then um, so I bought a uh, a lot of copies. I found a whole stack of them, uh, and uh, so yeah, these are all a buck. No newsstand, but I mean, these are all high grade, so I think that's five copies. And then um, what's the first print without the second print? And these are also. High grade, but not as high grade. The second print, the gold cover, I also love it. But first Jim Lee artwork, I love this cover. I mean, so I think that's around nine nine issues I picked up in total uh, of these. Uh, the first uh, Jim Lee artwork in X Men. Yeah, but happy to own these. All right, and uh, the messed up thing is that I um. This is the second appearance of Gambit. It would have been better to find a whole stack of uh, first appearance at 266. This is 267. Um, this is a Jim Lee uh, Portisio uh, cover, but um, I found a stack of like 40 of these comics, 40 issues of X Men 267. Now, I was going to buy them all, but I felt like. I would have spent more money. I would have lost more money just buying them all because, like, they're just—it's not expensive. I mean, and I mean, this is a th like a really sharp copy, but the problem is, I had like thirty to forty options to choose the the best copy from, and I I didn't see that little thing right there. So I had like thirty to forty options and to find the best copy, and well, I end up getting a copy that had that. But whatever, for a buck, you know. Uh, I still need a, a, a 266 in a condition like this. I don't have that. It's always a pleasure, always a joy to find uh, Todd McFarlane uh, in his uh, first Amazing Spider-Man run for a buck. Uh, Spider-Man 302. Uh, really, and this one's a sharp, this is sharp, really sharp. I mean, these are all sharp. Super sharp. I love this cover, love the colors, love the blue. Just, I don't think there's even a spine tick on that. Not expensive, but, you know, a near, a near mint shape, you know. This is really beautiful, well-centered. Just a beautiful copy. Really beautiful. Might be some dimple right there, but, yeah, really beautiful. Spider-Man uh, 302. Amazing Spider-Man 302. Um, what else? Uh, and so I found um, Machine Man 19, and this comic's got a lot going for it. I think it's like around a... 15 20 25 dollar comic but uh machine man uh 19 it's the final issue or the last issue uh frank miller cover you got batman and superman there you got steve ditko interior cover art uh kind of like a low print and run hard to find issue and on top of all that it's the first appearance of jack lantern so there's a lot of great things that are going on with this comic a lot of potential and uh you know I, the this is a really sharp high grade copy. Like well, I found see there's one right there, but I'll just cut to the chase. I got a twenty-eight of these. A stack of twenty-eight of these and I think it's worth the investment. You know, really high grade, really you know, let me start making some space, but uh 
you know, just really Machine Man 19, you know, just a beautiful cover. Uh, and then these are all like very fine near mint copies and you know, just uh, really happy to get all of them. You know, just uh yeah. I think we well, might be in, yeah, really beautiful white cover. Um really beautiful. And these are again a buck each, uh one booth, one dealer, uh one sh one local show this past Sunday. Um Machine Man 19, maybe, you know, I mean, these are on the higher end, so maybe, you know, 20, 25 bucks, uh, just put these down there, and then these are, and, and then, like, see, like, a copy like this, I mean, like, there's no spine ticks, I mean, a really flat spine, I mean, just beautiful, this is, like, a beautiful copy, I mean, you know, just really beautiful, I mean, it's just a comic, but, you know, the shape is really sublime. You know, these are all CGC, you know, near mint grade worthy copies. Um, Machine Man uh, 19, and uh, let me just show off the rest. Uh, but yeah, I got uh, 27 of these, and I'm definitely going to hold on to all of these. I think this is uh, an investment comic. Uh, whenever they put them in a movie or a show, uh, got more over there. And I got, I think, 27 or 28 of these. I, I always forget count, but, um, yeah, uh, definitely uh, going to hold on to this. Uh, Machine Man 19, uh, great comic to own. And uh, actually, speaking of multiple copies, uh, I actually found these for a buck, a buck each. Uh, all new Wolverine number one, first print. Uh, I did not find this at this this local show. I found this uh, on free comic book day this year at a comic shop in the back. Uh, these were all a buck each, but I just figured I'd show off uh, a little cameo of what I got. And I got, I think, 20, 25 copies, and I found like 40 of them, and I got the best copies. But these are all near mint, near uh, near mint plus copies of of this comic. Uh, great invest, or yeah, I mean, these are just great investment lot. You know, I could see this becoming you know a 30, 35, 40 dollar comic. I mean, it's got a lot of things going for it. I mean, Laura Kinney, great cover. First appearance of as the all new Wolverine uh, number one. It's still ongoing. Uh, you know, it's just a great cover. I mean, just an essential comic down. If you love X-23 or Wolverine. Alright, uh, move. Uh, speaking of Wolverine, great transition. Uh, I got this, I never owned it, but I thought this was a Campbell cover. So that's why I immediately bought it. I put it in my stack. It was really high grade sharp. It's not a Campbell cover, but it's like a Churchill, like an even sh Ivan Churchill, a Norm Rapman cover, but... um. Beautiful looking cover. I uh, love the blue, the teal, uh, Wolverine Spidey. I uh, really love the cover, the colors on it. The the just the blue. Uh, low issue number of Invincible 32. You don't really find that too often. Um, Green Lantern 25. And these are near mint copies. And I uh, got two. Uh, I found a stack of these for like 50 cents at uh, Weapon X's favorite comic shop. But uh, earlier this year. But um. Yeah, I mean, I bought this when it came out. It was a no-brainer. Great cover. Uh, Jeff Johns, Ivan Reyes, uh, Ethan Van Skyver. Uh, yeah, it's the super size finale. The the last issue, uh, 25. First, uh, Atrocitus. Uh, first, Larfley's uh, Green Lantern, 25. I think this might be like a, a $15, $20, $25 dollar comic, maybe. Uh, and this is just a great comic to own. Uh, again, Atrocitus, uh, Final Crisis, uh, Rage of the Red Lanterns, number one. I always buy this when I find it. I mean... You know, this is the sp this is the Spider-Man 316 to Venom to Spider-Man 300. You know, this is the this is the the first uh, you know full-on comic dedicated to Atrocitus. In you see him in full form, a uh, beautiful cover. I think this is only like five ten bucks, but for a buck, I always pick it up. Just a great comic that could on can only go up. And I need the third print. I have the second print, but I don't have the third print. And the third print's a great cover, a sketch black and white cover. Uh, first appearance of the black costume Spidey in the the spectacular Spider-Man uh, title, uh, Spider-Man uh, spectacular Spider-Man ninety, like a fifteen dollar comic. Never owned this. Uh, what if uh, thirty uh, Spider-Man's clone lived? Uh, you got an Inhumans comic or story, but a beautiful cover. Never owned it. Uh, I you know early uh, black uh, costume uh, Spidey in the spectacular Spider-Man uh, uh, title, uh, spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, 
116. Uh, yeah, this is really nice shape. I'm gonna kind of going quick because I got a lot of books to show off, but pretty pretty beautiful shape. Um, new X Men. Uh, what issue is this? Uh, 115. Uh, first appearance of uh, uh, Nega Sonic Teenage Warhead. Uh, uh, like a fifteen dollar comic maybe. Um, eh, whatever. Uh, again, still the same booth. One one dollar each. Um, Buffy, a season eight number one. Uh, it's not worth anything, but this used to be like a hot book ten years ago, like a ten dollar comic. So happy to get it. Uh, Detective Comics, uh, five twenty, uh, five seventy two. Um, it's like this is a nine eight. This is a, like a near mint copy. I mean near mint plus. I mean there's no, there's little to no defects on this comic. Like it's just really sharp, really high grade. Like glossy, flat, really beautiful copy. I mean, no spine ticks, no spine stress, just, just a gradable copy. I mean, just, you know, just a beautiful glossy co copy. I mean, beautiful. Uh, picked up another one of these uh, Justice League of America Annual Number Two, uh, Vibe and Gypsy first. Uh, speaking of Jim Lee earlier, uh, Alpha Flight Fifty One, the first uh, Jim Lee artwork uh, in uh, Marvel, uh, first print Alpha Flight Fifty One. A lot of people want a lot of money for this. Um, let me just show you. Uh, Jim Lee right there. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, really, I actually, I found I found three or five of these, but I picked the best copy. I think this is, to me, well, I mean, this could be a near-mint copy once pressed, but uh, Alpha Flight 51, uh, Jim, first Jim Lee artwork. And uh, I actually found two other copies of this, and I gave one away to a dealer friend, and I gave one to, away to a guy who really wanted it. But this is a really high-grade copy, uh, Man Thing Number 1 from uh, 1979. A really beautiful high-grade copy. Again, I mean, you could find this for a buck, but this is just really beautiful high-grade shape that I had to pick it up for a buck. I mean, well-centered. I mean, just really sharp. Like, maybe one or two spine ticks, but, I mean, this is this is a beautiful immaculate spine. Just, you know, near mint copy and your condition of this comic I mean just just really beautiful really beautiful shape like these are all great books for a buck in the in, in, in the conditions they were in Be beautiful uh, it was not low grade okay so uh, uh, this is not low grade e either but um brightest day birds of prey number one uh, first uh, white canary um, Found this for a buck. Uh, Space War. Uh, I mean, from 1961, uh, I picked it up. I mean, it was a 10 cent cover, so I mean, for a buck, I pick it up. Cool cover, anyway. Uh, more fun comics. These are just Millennium uh, uh, reprints. Uh, first uh, Starman and first Superboy, but um, I, I bought these out of emotion. I, I shouldn't have bought them. Uh. Found this, uh, Spider-Man 344. Uh, this is a good book for a buck. Uh, first, Cletus Cassidy, Carnage, and it's in really high-grade shape, so really happy to own this. And uh, this is the last book I got from this uh, dealer uh, at this one booth for a buck. Uh, X-Woman number one, Claremont, uh, Milo Minara cover. Uh, like a like a $30 book, as I was saying. Uh, sorry about that, the video got cut off, but um, yeah, never owned this uh, before really happy to have it uh, really happy to find it for the first time uh, at this booth uh, beautiful cover uh, Milo Minara let's take a look at this let's let's find out why this is a uh, thirty dollar comic thirty thirty five dollar comic in really high shape beautiful detail um, you, know, uh, you know let's just go page by page Yeah, let's just take a look at that. What do we got? She's going through a guy. Let me see. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I took a look at this book. Uh, pretty good artwork. Um, it's really suggestive. I mean, you know, really really suggestive but you know I figured you know you know just you know just just take a look at it see what's inside 
But Claremont, you know, you have to give him credit throughout all the decades. New Mutants, Uncanny X-Men, X-Men. I mean, whew, I mean, he's he, Wolverine. I mean, Claremont, I mean, he's done everything. I mean, you got to give him credit. You got to give credit to Claremont. I mean, you just got to give him credit. I mean, that guy is insane. What he What he's done, what he can do. I mean, he, he writes a lot of stuff, but, you know, you just got to give him credit. I mean, mad props to him and, uh, you know, <laughs> mad, just mad props uh, to Claremont. Um, you know, he, he's done a, a hell of a job, uh, you know, you know, writing the X-Men, um, I think that's enough for now, but uh, yeah, X Woman number one, great comic to find. Happy to find it for a buck. Never owned it before. Uh, let's put it right here for the now. So that was all the books that I got um, at that one booth uh, for a uh, dollar. Uh, so I moved on, and this was this past Saturday. Saturday, sorry, and this was this past Sunday again. Um, just one day, one shot. Uh, so after that one booth, I finished that. Um, Weapon X uh, showed me his books that he got, and um, I saw this, and I was like, ooh, you know, you find that for a buck at that booth. And uh, I never owned it. Uh, Action Comics 775, uh, First Manchester, um, um, I think Elite, something like that, Manchester and Elite, Manchester Black, not really sure. Um, never owned it. I always look for it. Uh, so I'm happy to have it, because I always look for it, never found it. Uh, just like that Coyote 11. Um, but, um, you know, I'm not a big Superman fan. Uh, it's got a dark cover. I like that. He looks possessed. Uh, Tim Bradstreet, you know, you got black, uh, really dark, uh, you know, orange. I really like the cover. I really enjoy it. Um, uh, it might be like a, a $20 comic, 25 bucks, maybe 15 maybe. But, um, you know, I, I, I never owned it. And um, I'm kind of hesitant because, I, 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 you know, all those books... I mean, I changed the poly bags, but there was never this on any of the books I bought. And I had recognized this little green circle from another, this green sticker from another dealer who had a booth and uh, at the local show. And uh, I think he might have paid five bucks for this. So I'm, I, you know, I'm uh, never owned it. Happy to own it. Happy to keep it. But uh, if I would have known he would have bought this for a buck, uh, that would have been different. Because uh, I, I was under, I was under the impression he bought this for a buck. But I think he might have paid five bucks for this, so um, you know, you know, uh, you know. Really, uh, it's a nice gift. You know, thank you. Uh, so moving on, I found this. Uh, went through another booth. Uh, didn't find much. I would have liked to have been the first person to go through that booth, but whatever. Uh, fifty cents. I found this for fifty cents, and this is a near mint copy. Uh, West Coast Avengers forty six first appearance of the Great Lakes Avengers. I mean, this is a for fifty cents. I mean. I mean, I've paid two bucks for this before, I believe, but, um, I mean, because this is just sharp as hell. I mean, this is a near mint. This is a gradable CGC copy, glossy, flat, um, you know, just sharp, dark colors. I mean, beautiful. I mean, you know, maybe like a $15 comic, 15 20 bucks in this shape, but this is beautiful. I mean, little ticks right there, but glossy, flat, beautiful. There's Big Bertha, but, um, just a beautiful copy. I mean, just... Really sharp, great colors, great cover. So happy for fifty cents. Um, happy to pick that up. Uh, you know, this makes sense all the time. Marvel now point one number one. Uh, first appearance of Kamala Khan, uh, Miss Marvel, right there. But uh, it's like a fifteen dollar comic, maybe twenty, maybe ten. But um, yeah, I've had a, I've had a lot of these before. But uh, great comic tone for a buck. It, it always makes sense. Uh, uh, all new Marvel point one number one. Uh, Kamala Khan first. Uh, and I found this, this was, you know, in a, in a, what do you call it, uh, you know, in a, these were all, okay, so, sorry, uh, these, these were a buck, these are a buck, uh, these were a buck each, uh, Justice League 30 and 31, first appearance of, uh, uh Jessica Cruz, um, the, you know, it's kind of like a duo, a duo, a pair, uh, they, maybe, maybe 15 bucks together, it's kind of low right now, but, um, you know, great for a buck, you know, to find the, uh, first Jessica Cruz, and, um, yeah, you know, these were in the dollar bins of another dealer's booth. And this is the last book I got. Uh, and I'm happy to... See, I, I paid, I paid you know, you know, three, three, four bucks for these before individually. But I never owned this. 
and this is a 7.99 so really happy to own this and this is a pretty high shape um, you know the the more desirable sought off uh, sought after first appearance of uh, Jessica Jessica Cruz Green Lantern uh, Green Lantern issue 20 from the new 52 but um, I really dig this cover it's a really cool cover I'm really happy to find it for a buck because I never owned it and they were all in the Green Lantern section of this dealer's booth and this was like later in the day like later in the show so happy to find these for a buck but um yeah yeah I mean just yeah I'm really happy this is like I mean I really like when I like when I found these I was like okay this is cool but like when I found this I was like you know, I, like, I put a smile on my face, like, you know, because it's like a giant oversized comic, like, you don't really find, you know, prestige comics like this for a buck, you know, they're usually taken, so to, so for me to find this, I mean, this is just, like, poetic justice, I mean, I really like this cover, really like it, maybe, like, a $10 comic, maybe, maybe 15 I don't know, I think there's a black and white version that might go for more, but, um, you know, for the most part, uh, that's about all I got from this, uh, this, uh, what do you call it, this con, this show, um, uh, yeah, I, so nothing here was more than 50 cents, uh, or, sorry, nothing here was more than a buck, but, uh, I think in total I got, like, maybe 87 comics, and I spent, like, 84 bucks, maybe, something like that, but, uh, you know, just really happy to pick these comics up, uh, that's about it, uh, thanks for, th thanks again, guys, for watching all the new, uh, subscribers the people who like comment uh watch share the videos um uh you know just uh you know just just thanks for tuning in and um you know hope, hope everyone's doing well um and uh you know peace out guys